So hello guys welcome back to the channel i hope you all are absolutely fine and sound and many of you are facing issue on this particular lab so here is the updated solution for it do not worry we'll cover everything and get full score and many of you are asking how to enable this check my progress bar you have to come to the video description and there you'll see a video how to enable check my progress you have to watch it and then you have to just enable the check my progress bar now here you can see the lab is starting we have to just open the cloud console incognito window now here it's just starting and for this particular lab we need a github account so how you'll create it you have to come to your google account uh, basically chrome browser and just type github.com now after that you have to sign up if you don't have a github account just click on sign up and here you have to just sign in, sign up using the traditional method also like email pass and username or you can just continue with google so like this you have to create an account i already have account so i'm clicking on sign in so let's meet after signing in so when you'll click on sign in, it will ask for Gmail account. If you have multiple Gmail logged in, you have to select one which you want. Now after that, the GitHub is ready and you can see the dashboard over here. Now the next thing we have to do, we have to come back again to the page of the console. You can see the dashboard is ready. Now from here, we have to navigate to the compute engine VM instance and also just activate your cloud shell over here. So by clicking on this button, we have activated a cloud shell. Here, just simply click on continue and authorize yourself. So I will try my best to make this video as simple as possible. Now click on the authorize button. And one more important thing, if you are new to this channel, do like the video and subscribe the channel. Also hype the video too. So let's come to the console page. Let me increase the font size so that everyone is able to see. Now here, we have to just come to the setup if let's see the setup if there is anything added so no we have to just come to the manual deployment we have to just initiate the sss session over our cloud shell so from here vm instance click on the vm instance then here you can see this down arrow just click on it and just click on view g cloud command and then click on run g cloud command and simply hit enter and if you are getting error just try to rerun the command again now here just type y and hit enter again hit enter again hit enter now once it is loaded then you are well and good and if it's showing error just retry the steps again so here you can see we are getting this kind of tunneling error so let's run it again and hit enter So finally, you can see it is successfully connected. So like this, you have to just focus and complete this particular task. Now let's come to the lab instruction. And first of all, we'll just install the hugo.sh file. Whatever it is called, I may spell it incorrectly also. So we have done this thing. You can see the output is similar over here. Now we'll just change the directory and install it. After that, we have to come over here and just export the project ID. And now it's time to create the repository over here. So finally, here you can see all these things are done over here. Now let's come back again. And now we have to just set up our GitHub account. So just come over here, paste it like this, hit enter. And now just wait. Now here you have to just sign up using the GitHub. Okay, you have to sign in using the GitHub account in the incognito window also. So just select it, use HTTPS, and now you have to just authenticate your GitHub credentials. So just type Y and hit enter. Now just hit enter and log in with browser. Now here you can see, this is a URL. No, you have to just hit enter once again. So just hit enter and here you can see this URL. You have to simply copy it over here. Just do one thing. Just drag your mouse cursor from here to here. Or if you are able to sign in in the incognito window, you can just directly open it also. But I am not having access to my account on incognito window. So just drag your mouse cursor. What I did, I dragged my mouse cursor from here to here. Once I dragged it over here, then it's time to come over here as my GitHub account is signed directly over here. So I'm just using it. So now here, just click on it. Now it's asking to display the code. So for the code, you can see this is our code. We have to copy it carefully, drag your mouse cursor and select it. And then simply paste over here and click on continue. If you are just 
doing it for the first time it may ask to authenticate yourself in that case you'll get the email uh, with the normal verification code you have to check your email and enter it first then only you'll be able to enter the code now just click on authorize and finally we are set over here now here it will just do the rest steps you can see we are signed in now here just come over here and just create a repo so just run it to create the repository so finally we have created the repository also so this is the first step we have done the manual deployment now here we have to run the second command to create a new site so it is also created you can see now the next step is that we have to install the hello friend ng theme so just run this command all these commands are being run on our vm instance okay so here this thing is also done now let's remove the git files from here this is also done now just run it so here you can see all these outputs are similar whichever we have got over here now if you want you can just view the site also just come over here click on preview port and here you'll be able to see the output over here so it's showing error that does not matter here if we add this thing over here then it will be okay so here it's asking for external ip right so this is our external ip we have to just paste it over here like this and just add this if you want to view then only okay so now you will see it will see continue and finally you can see the site is live you can see it's showing like the same thing over here now we have launched the site now it's time to check the score for this particular task now we'll be deploying the firebase site okay site to firebase sorry first we'll come over here to our instance page and here you can see i don't know what is happening why the screen is cracking so still we'll cover each thing so just run it over here and just hit enter now it's just setting up all the things and in case you haven't liked the video yet like it and do subscribe the channel guys also do hype the video so that it reaches genuine participants who are facing issues on this particular lab now here all things are done and finally we have done this thing that we have learned the curl command now it's time to initialization now here only many of you are facing issue so please watch this video from this part at least carefully now to select the things you have to just use the down arrow and here you can see the options are here hosting so here all the options are mentioned over here so here you can see that we have to select hosting configure files for firebase hosting and optionally set up github actions deploy so here if you are able to see if you are able to see hosting setup deployments for action let's see multiple hosting are here static deploys let me check once again then i will report here actually here it's not showing over here so let's try to do one thing let's experiment so you have to use up down arrow key and just find over here so here you can see we are just doing it and let's select this hosting by using the space bar i just selected it now let's hit enter use the existing project and here after that you have to come over here and just type n n and then y so let's see whether it works or not so let's select it hit enter n n and here you can see finally these things are set over here so after that once you have done all these things it's time to deploy it so let's see a uh, wait a second just run it and deploy it so here you can see all these things are being done now we'll be automating the deployment so let's see whether you are getting the score for this task or not so okay we have not connected the cloud will trigger so if you see the hosting url you can see it's done so like this we have to complete this part now let's automate the deployments so here we have done this thing now just change the directory now do the initial commit So all these things are done now we have to configure the build so we'll be creating a cloud build.yaml file over here and then 
will just if you want to see you run the cat command so if you run the cat command you can see whatever things are present on the build file you can see same as this now here we have to create a connection using the cloud build over here so just run it like this it's taking a bit of time now here you can see this is the action url over here so what you can do you can drag your mouse cursor from here to here carefully drag it carefully drag it up to here just drag it and leave your mouse cursor now here you have to paste on your browser window if you are using the incognito window like your github account is on signed in in the incognito window you can use over here or else you can come over here to the this normal window as in my case the github is logged in in normal window you have to just wait a second what is happening okay so here just carefully copy it again carefully copy it and then just paste over here so if you do it like this it's not working so if i open directly from here what happens so let me do one thing we have to just authenticate the student account and then it's asking for the github token so you need to wait for some more time and let me do one thing let me sign in with the github also here so i'm just signing wait for some time now here i'm directly signing into my github account over here using the google because here it's causing some e now again do one thing you have to try to click over here and then just select the student account over here and wait for it to get started now here we have to try to click on continue and then you can see we have to authorize the cloud build and it's just doing its task over here and here you have to just click on install so here it's still pending over here let's see whether it works or not so what i did uh, in my normal window i had signed to the github account but here it was causing some issues so it signed in in the incognito window also and then i clicked on this url you can click also there is not an issue or you can just drag your mouse cursor and try to establish the connection if you open it directly over here and just select the student account make sure to select the student account over here and then you have to simply click on continue and you can see the installation is already completed not pending user auth like we have already done this step so now just come over here to the lab instruction what i did i hope you understood what i did i just initialized the github connection what i did i am telling again i clicked on it and then i clicked on continue and then just the single github account was there so it just authenticated we authorized all the things and then we are done with that part now here once all things are done okay so here we have done in the only selected repositories we forgot to add so if we do over here let's see what happens so here this thing is done now let's see whether it works or not so it's again throwing the error over here so what you can do you can come over here to the repository access i just come to the repository source repository cloud build just got it and here you can see the repositories so here we have already established the connection now here what you can do we can just click on link repository and from here just select the agent like my hugo site just click on it and just click on link just link it directly and here we are enabling this thing over here like this now try to run the command over here just come over here and just check it over here and let's see it will show already created i think so already exists now let's check so like this we fix this issue now we are creating a cloud build trigger so this video is a little bit detailed so that you are able to understand also 
if I just make a video then in 2x speed and the video is running you are learning anything not then it will cause some issues so we have created a cloud build trigger also you can see we got the score now here we have to just wait a second how much score we have got now we are in the last step we have to just test the pipeline so just run this command and then we have to add the config dot toml file how we'll do it you have to just copy the name from here just type nano space hit enter now here you can see use the down arrow to navigate and here we have to change the title so just use the right arrow over here okay leave up to here and just use the backspace now copy the content from here carefully paste it to save you have to press ctrl x then y and then hit enter now the file is successfully saved what i did ctrl x then y then hit enter after that we have to just run this and then we have to just check the build list so now it's working and here if you want to check the build logs also you can run this particular command over here so here all the logs will be shown over here like this and then we have just tested the pipeline also and this is the correct way to do it so let's wait for it to get completed i think it's taking some time so if you want to view that pipeline also you can come over here and see the history you can see the status is still running so we need to wait for it to get completed and if you have followed the way we have done then you'll surely get the score now let's check the score so finally you can see we have completed the lab like this you have to complete it the things you need to keep in mind you need a personal github account do not sign in using the lab provided github account okay so this is the way we have to complete the lab do like the video and subscribe the channel guys have a great day